All right, you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you some new and very exciting fragrance releases that have either just been released or are coming up. I am going to rapid fire my way down this list. I have not looked too deeply into these individual fragrances. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the notes up here so you guys can see. Um, yeah, but these are some really exciting releases and maybe some things that most of you guys, some of you guys might not know about. So I'm happy to kind of yeah, bring you, bring you the news, the fragrance news. All right, so first up on this list, we have a new one by Guerlain, and it's Neroli Plan Sud, I believe is the pronunciation. I love anything orange blossom, so I'm very, very, very excited. I know that Neroli and orange blossom technically aren't the same thing, but um, I'm super excited for this, and I've heard excellent reviews on it so far, which have been um, just a couple, very few and far between, because it's I don't even think it's launched yet. Um, but yes, very excited for this. I love Guerlain. I think they make exquisite fragrances. My ring light might die while I'm in the middle of this video. So if the lighting changes, that's why. Um, next on the list, we have an entire new line from the brand Clean. It's their H2O line. And there's a multitude of fragrances in that line. They look, yeah, kind of watery as one would expect from the name H2O. Um, these probably won't be my cup of tea. I don't love watery fragrances, but I know for a lot of you guys, you'll be super into this. Uh, next up, we have a new fragrance by the house of day three, and this is called Philosophia. And I know nothing about it. I'll put the notes up here, but I've been very intrigued by this house. And so I added it to my list. Next up, we have two new releases by the house of Giorgio Armani. This is Blanc Kogani and Noir Kogani. I might be saying those incorrectly. Um, I will put the notes up here again as well. These look really interesting. I'm definitely excited to get my nose specifically on the Blanc Kogani. I'm starting to crave those floral fragrances because we're like three months into like fall and winter. Um, so yeah, kind of ready for my florals again. <laughs> uh, next up on the list, we have one from the house of Noemi, which I haven't heard many people talking about. I've yet to smell anything from the house, but I've heard really good things. And I feel like it's kind of like, again, a little bit of a sleeper. Um, this fragrance is called Altai, Altai, and it looks really, really delicious. Next up, we have one from the House of Celine, which I recently did not did a little bit of a dive into the, the House of Celine, and I love the fragrances. However, I feel like they're just, they sit so close to the skin, and I really like my fragrances to project. However, I super appreciate the artistry of what I've smelled so far, so I'm very excited to get my nose on their newest release, which actually is called Celeste, which I thought was really interesting because um, Giardini di Toscana recently released their Celeste. I believe it was in 2023. It was just interesting to see like a uh, um, double up on a name. And yeah, just excited to give this one a sniff and see what it's all about. Next up on the list, we have one from Lush. This is Sticky Dates, which I believe was a shower gel. It is a shower gel from Lush, I believe, that's been very popular. And they're, they've turned a couple um, scents that were primarily from like their bath line products, and they've um, turned them into body spray slash fragrances and sticky dates is the one that is calling for me the most. I love dates so much. I love the smell of dates. So I'm very excited for that one. And I think Lush makes some great body spray slash fragrances. Um, next up on the list, we have Olfactive Studios Smoky Soul. I'm excited about this one because apparently it's like a smoked tea scent and I love tea scents. I feel like you guys know that if you've seen any of my videos lately and Olfactive Studio is such a great house. Like oh, they make some good fragrances and people don't really talk about them that much, but they make delicious fragrances. Ombre Indigo, which might be one of the most polarizing fragrances ever made, was one of my all-time favorite fragrances in 2016. It was my first saffron experience for a fragrance and I would like beast mode people out of rooms <laughs> wearing that fragrance. I would wear it in the middle of summer to like art galleries in downtown Austin when it was like 115 degrees out, like not appropriate to wear that fragrance in that environment but I just loved it so much I would just like douse myself in it. my friends would be like um whoa <laughs> anyways ombre indigo if you like saffron oh, that no one talks about that fragrance and it was so good but you'll either love it or you'll hate it because it was plum and saffron I don't know why I'm talking about this smoky soul this is why I'm excited to try smoky soul because I love so many of the olfactive studio fragrances Next up, we have one that's already released. This is Kyle's new lychee fragrance. And I'm a sucker for a lychee note ever since Delina introduced me to lychee in fragrances. 
and I love the bottle on this. It just looks really pretty. And I'm very excited about Kylie as a brand. I was not like super overly excited about her initial releases. Some of them, obviously I was in love with, and some of them I'm just kind of been like, eh, but I feel like as the years have gone on, her releases have gotten better and better. And yeah, I've been really happy with everything I've smelled lately. So I am very excited to get my nose on this. And I know some of you guys already have it because it has been out for maybe a week or two at this point. So please let me know in the comments if you're loving it. What are your thoughts on that so far? Um, next up, we have one from a house that I haven't heard a single person on YouTube talk about. Single person. I discovered this house back in 2014 when I worked at Well People, down to when they used to have their flagship studio downtown Austin. And we carried some um, botanical, like raw ingredient type fragrances, some clean fragrances. And we carried the Strange Invisible line. At the time, we only had access to the horoscope uh, fragrances, which I loved some of those. And um, I haven't really had much interaction with the brand since then, because again, like there, no one talks about them, right? They kind of just like, unfortunately go back of mind. Um, but they're releasing one called Poets in the Canyon. And I'll put the notes up here. I did read the um, breakdown on it. I can't remember what the notes are, but if I remember correctly, it's kind of like an herbal, which is very much in line for them as a brand, like very herbal, raw ingredients. Um, yeah, it just sounds really good and like soothing and comforting. So I'm really excited for that one. Next up on the list, we have a new release from Zoologist. It's called Penguin. Not out yet. Um, I think 2024 it's coming out. And I haven't smelled anything from the house of Zoologist yet. However, I'm very intrigued by this one because again, I'll put the notes up here, but it's um, got a little bit of like a cold Arctic thing going on, which I'm, I'm intrigued by. Um, I don't think it's something that I'll end up like wanting to wear, but I just want to smell it. I'm very intrigued by the concept. And so, yeah, super excited to get my nose on that one. Next up, we have a new release from the house of Bill, Bill Helm. This is coming out 2024. This is called Sparkling Joe. And I believe this is going to be, um, if I remember correctly, like a champagne kind of bergamot citrusy fragrance, very vibrant, juicy, sparkly kind of vibe, um, which I'm here for. So I'm excited to give that one a sniff. And then next up we have, and this might not come as a surprise to you guys because I feel like everyone's been talking about this for a bit, but this is the new release from Tom Ford and it's called Vanilla Sex. And they're releasing it, I believe this month at some point, which will round out our year of vanilla because holy, oh my God, like how many vanilla fragrances were released this year? Like it's been insane how many vanilla fragrances have been released. Anyways, um, yeah, super excited. Always down for vanilla fragrance. I'm not always down for Tom Ford, although a couple of them have really pulled at my heartstrings. So we'll see. Very excited to get my nose on this. I would love to know in the comments, are there any new releases coming out that I forgot to talk about that you are super excited about? Please let me know in the comments. I feel like I've heard of a few that I haven't um, included in this list. And then I feel like sometimes I have dreams about fragrance releases that aren't actually happening in real life. And I get like excited and then it was just a dream and it, I'm getting excited for no reason. <laughs> um, but yeah, new releases are like crack, aren't they? They're so exciting. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you're excited for. There goes my ring light, perfect timing. I just drained this entire battery pack from having my ring light plugged in to this for seven videos. It's only been an hour and a half, two hours that I've been filming. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I will not film more videos until after the holidays. And I can't remember when you'll see this specific video, but if you're seeing this and the holidays have already happened, I hope you had a great holiday. If not, I hope you have a great holiday. I can't wait for 2024. I feel like yeah, I feel like lots of good things are around the bend. I feel like lots of good fragrances are coming up around the bend. And I'm just so happy and grateful to be in this community with you guys and to be sharing this love for fragrance together. So until the next time, I will see you soon.